What is up, awesome people? All right, this is part three of the Mono Derp round. These guys have pulled against all odds and they've made it to round 20. I cannot believe this. I did not expect this team to make it past round 10, let alone make it to round 20. Round 20, for those who do not know, are the, is the really, I suppose, the equivalent to like the Battle Frontier brain back in Emerald. I've forgotten what they're actually called in Battle Mace. It's been quite some time since I've taken a challenge up against these people. So yeah, as I always say at the beginning of my episodes, if you want to suggest a Pokemon or an idea, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. And I have to give a huge shout out now to po uh, Phoenix Dawn for suggesting Bee Barrel and looks like Deku Link for the awesome idea of the Mono Derp team. Oh my freaking god, I didn't even think this team would get so far. Oh my goodness, so as I said, massive shout out to those two people for these those those ideas. Oh my goodness. I'm completely stoked they've gotten this far. Um, they've overcome the round 15 that Mono Dragon reached, round 16 that the Mono Pink team reached. They have gone a whole different new league now. Oh my goodness. I'm actually a bit nervous. I do not know how well this team's going to go up against the final battle for the single battle. If we actually win this, we go on the super singles. And I've been trying to do this with like decent proper teams um, that I've tried to come up with my own but it just hasn't worked and the freaking mono derps have done it I can't believe this oh well, it's still not time to celebrate we have one more battle to do can they do it that is the question let's head into the ring and let's see how well they do so we're gonna cut scene here here she comes battle Chantelie I think that's Ch Chanteline Nita. Alright, she's gonna give us a little dance there as she makes her way to the ring. Hello, how are ya? Are you in good form? I'm Nita. Welcome to the Battle Mason Pet. I am no pet! Like my Stumpfist. Feel my Stumpfist's wrath! Sure, I may be the youngest of us four Battle Chantel and sisters, sisters, I can't talk, but I'm still a class trainer. I've been an owner of the Battle Mason this long while. Uh, I've been an owner of the Battle Mason this long while. That doesn't make any sense. Honest, I'm not telling fibs. I'll be in charge of the single battles myself. Would you do me a favor? Of a bit of a match? Will you? Grand, let's begin at once. Alright, let's do this! Alright, let's take this... Oh, weekly tough lead. Well, my energy changed pretty quickly. Alright, so this is not going to be an easy battle. So Wigglytuff, it's not exactly bulky, it's got great health, reaches the 400s at level 100. Uh, drops down to 200 I think when it scales down to level 50. Its speed's not exactly great either. It can be either physical or special or a utility, so this could be absolutely anything. Let's go Hidden Power, I reckon Hidden Power is going to smack this pretty hard. 2 heat KO definitely, nice, it goes for the Thunderbolt. Could have swapped in the Stumpfisk, I decided not to. Uh, Stumpfisk is still an option here. Let's go Hidden Power. It's got a Shell Bell for its item, so each time it lands a successful attack, it's going to get a heal. And I do take out the Wiggly Tough, so awesome. I could have played it pretty safe there, going for the Stumpfisk, since Stumpfisk does have the Sludge Bomb. Perugly. Right, this is going to be a big... Pain in the rear side because this thing is very fast and it hits quite strong. It's got fake out as well. Uh, it's got. It's actually a really good Pokemon. I know I cannot not outspeed this thing. It'll probably one shot me too. Night Slash. It's got Hypnosis. Bugger. Alright, so I'm unfortunately fast asleep, so at least I can probably scout this thing out. That's probably all Unknown can do. Alright, it's got Shadow Ball. Interesting, it's a special attacker. Alright, so Unknown bites the dust, but it has kind of helped me. I've now figured out... Well, I've got some idea what this Perugly is running. It's a special set, which I don't usually see very often. Now, my best option here would be probably... Skull could be an option. 
Though I don't want to risk not getting a burn. Let's go scold. Right, so that damn hypnosis my way again. Alright, so I'm unfortunately fast asleep again. This is bloody annoying. Ah, bloody hell, it's got Dream Eater. Alright, I'm still fast asleep. I can definitely take a lot of those Dream Eaters though. I just don't want to stay asleep in case it crits me. Ah, come on, Stumpfist. You've wanted blood for this entire time. What's happening? Come on, just think blood, blood, blood. You just want to cause carnage. And you wake up. Sweet. Let's go for the scold and burn it. Alright, that does a decent amount of... Freak, I don't burn it. Alright, that damn hypnosis keeps hitting. That's really annoying. Hypnosis only has like 60 accuracy or something. So that's... What? Three out of... Sorry, I'm doing my mouse here. Three... Three out of five chance of it hitting. Which still may seem decent, but honestly it's not. Right, so... Oh, sweet, I wake up. So it did, did get a little bit of health back there with the Dream Eater. And I finally get the burn. So even if it does get the goddamn Dream Eater off, it's not going to really matter because burn's going to negate that recovery. Oh, wow. It must be holding Wide Lens. That's the only way I can figure out this bloody... Her ugly devoutly hit three times in a row with hypnosis. That's either really, really, really bad luck on my part, or this thing has a wide lens. That's my really the only thing I've got in mind for it. Alright, so Dream Eater is doing very little. Its recovery is not exactly the greatest either. Burn's definitely got a negator. It's about probably just a little bit more than what leftovers gives it. I just need to wake up one more time. That's all I need to do. And not get critted. Come on, Stumpfisk. You can do it. Unfortunately, I think they're about the same at the moment. Dream Eater and freaking Burn. I'm down. Coming very close to the red as well for Stumpfisk. That's not good. I can't really waste my Stumpfisk. It finally woke up, so that Perugly is now down. Alright, Stump is doing well. Just one more Pokemon and this victory is ours. Grumpig. Alright, so Grumpig, Grumpig, Grumpig. Grumpig's definitely bulky, that's for sure. Let's go Earth Power. Ah, oh, bloody hell, it's got an energy ball. I just lived, which is sweet. Oh wow, that thing's bulky. A special defense fell. I cannot get another attack off on this thing. Unfortunately, that damn uh, per ugly left a huge dent on my dirt fish and left it so I can't really take out that Grumpig. It's all down to Bee Barrel now. Can Bee Barrel do it? I'm definitely setting up amnesias though. Wow, they did a lot of damage. I was hoping I'd outspeed it though. It drastically rose, so plus three. Let's go for the rest. Come on, Bay Barrel. You can live one. You can live it. What a beast. It's all on Bee Barrel's shoulders. Bee Barrel's got the absolute weight of it, weight of the world on its shoulders. Can Bee Barrel pull through for me? Alright, so Chester Berry kicks in. And let's go Waterfall. Screw the curse, um, curses. I don't want this thing critting me. Alright, it's about, I don't know, an 8 hit eight, 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 eight hit KO. I'm now really nervous, if you can't tell. Oh wow, that damage! I think I've won this! Just don't crit me! If you crit me... Come on, 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 You can do this! And... Yes! I won! Holy crap! You're an absolute legend, b -Barrel. I knew it! Arceus is not our god, B-Barrel is! Holy crap, it won! <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe I won that! Congratulations, I present you with these battle points for your victory against... Oh my goodness! I won! The Mono Derp team actually prevailed! 20 battle points! 
Nah, I'm all good for saving that one. As epic as it was, it doesn't need to be replayed. My whole DS would probably explode. So we can now take on super singles. Well done! Unknown, b Bell and Stumpfist, you will go down as legends. Wow. My heart probably skipped a few beats there on b Bell. b Bell definitely scared me. Alright, so you've probably seen already up in the corner there what their movesets are, but just to recap. There is Unknown. It's not my unknown. This actually was transferred from one of my previous games. This actually came from my fourth generation game. I managed to RNG one um, with Hidden Power Psychic on it. Um, it's got... I think it's missing, like, speed and... Uh, I know it's missing something. I think speed's definitely missing. I think special defense is missing as well. Um, it's definitely a bit random, but I managed to get one with max health and max special attack, which is exactly what I wanted. Um can't remember exactly the whole details and what it needed for Hidden Power Psychic, but it's definitely random there. Choice Specs, Modest, Levitate for its ability, its only ability, and as I said, Hidden Power its only attack. Dirtfish, oh my goodness, Dirtfish, you legend! Skull Discharge, Earth Power, and Sludge Bomb with Assault Vest, Max Health, Max Special Defense. This thing was an absolute beast and all it wanted was blood. Good grief, I've never seen anything like it, and Static for its ability definitely helped out so many times as well during that consecutive 20. And last Pokemon, of course, was B-Barrel. This new bloody legend, you're, you're better than Arceus, the new bloody god. Uh, Curse, Rest, Amnesia, and Waterfall, this is actually my competitive set that I use for Wi-Fi battles with B-Barrel. I've never actually been able to pull it off in a Wi-Fi battle either. Impus Nature, simple ability, Chesto Berry just to work in with Rest. Could have swapped it in with Peragli, but I'm kind of glad I didn't because Stumpfist could tank that pretty well. Uh, especially after that burn went off as well on Stump uh, Peragli. It kind of meant definitely a game changer there. If I didn't get the burn, it, I don't think I would have actually won that battle. Um, may have been able to pull through with, uh, with Speed Barrel, not too sure. I could have gotten an am Amnesia off, but it would have definitely taken off my Chesto Berry. Which could have actually spelt the end for me. Um, it's it's EVs are a little bit weird. Um, I have left them in the details for B Barrel. It's max health. I think it's got 90 defense and 168 special defense. I think that's the EV spread. Just double check with the box there. I cannot remember the exact spread, but it's a definitely a weird one. Uh, don't think there's anything else I really, really, really need to say except for God damn it, this team is freaking awesome. So, before I go, one final shout out to Looks Like Deku Link for the idea of the Mono Derp team. They've actually pulled through for me. Oh my freaking god. I mean, I did laugh about the idea at the very beginning, but I definitely did not expect anything like this. They are freaking legends. So, give yourself a pat on the back because that idea actually pulled through a consecutive 20 wins, which is what I have not been able to pull off at all, even when I'm trying. As I said, this team was definitely for the lols. Definitely... Did not think I'd get that far. This ID really just did that for the lols. But honestly, last time I did something for the lols, end up something like this. I actually pulled through and actually won. Good grief. I don't think I'll ever do that again. Um, so yeah. If you guys want to suggest an idea for me to use, or if you want to suggest Pokemon, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. I definitely do look over my comments. And if I do pick out your uh, your idea, I will give you guys a shout out as well. So it can be anything ridiculous. The next episode, I am doing something pretty ridiculous. Um, it was suggested. Um, I don't think the person actually would think I'm going to choose it, but I am. I will um, spill the beans on that one in the next episode. Um, I don't think there's anything else I really need to say. Except for, good grief, I'm over the moon. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time of your day to check out this awesome episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys were actually blown out of your seats as well. Um, and if you haven't seen the previous episodes or the previous uh, 19 rounds with the Mono Derp team, make sure to check them out and the other episodes. And if you like what you saw and like what you've seen, make sure to stick around for future episodes because they'll probably be just as epic as what you just saw then. And until the next episode, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now but not forever.